Hey guys, hope everyone's doing well. Uh, it's hot out here. What's the weather where you are? What's it like? Is it hot or? It's, it's really hot here and muggy. Okay, our card today, we're gonna use this uh, cute stamp set from Happy Doodle Stamps called Pluck Star. And it's flamingos and I know it's not stamping up, but I required some cards by request that had flamingos on them. So this was the chose, the set that I chose to uh, create those with. And it's pretty cute and it's got some cute little sayings in it. Now, Stampin' Up! doesn't have a flamingo, so this is why I have chosen to use something else. Sometimes we have to do that, go beyond our, what we're used to. So, let me see. I'm gonna put that out of the way for a second and go ahead and start this card. We need a card base cut at four and a quarter by 11 and scored at five and a half. I'll just do that a few times. My score thing doesn't seem to always work too wonderfully. And I always have to check with this paper and trim a little bit off. This is uh, a thicker, a thicker cardstock. Now, so I'm going to go ahead and burnish that score line. There we go. Now, there's a bit of a rough edge where my cut line was. Now, the next thing I have is a piece of designer series paper that has a cute little flamingos on it and it's actually from the Echo Park Paper Company and it is called Animal Kingdom. Again, I required some paper with flamingos. So it is cut at two by five and a half and we're just going to simply adhere that to the card front right about there. There we go. Ah, cute so far. Okay. Next, I have a piece of basic white cardstock and it's cut at three by four. And it's cut at three by four so that I can use this little mini stencil on it. Uh, the mini stencil is from Creative Expressions, and it is simply called Bubbles. So this is what I'm going to do with it. I'm going to line it up on here. And just use some pieces of very well-used... Uh, it's just like a 3M sticky note tape. I think mint tape would be far better, but I need to get some of that. Okay, so I've just attached that on the little three by four piece of cardstock, and I'm gonna use a piece of scrap paper and a blending brush, which again is just a cheapy one. I don't have a lot of fancy supplies. Um, so I got a blending brush. I have a flirty flamingo ink from Stampin' Up. And I'm just gonna blend some color onto this. Stencil. Um, it doesn't. It, parts can be light, parts can be dark. It's just a really random effect that we're looking for. A little light, a little dark. There. Should be great. Okay. That's good. Take that put the brush out of the way before I have something else stuck on it. And there's our little piece of paper. Put those up so I can continue using them. And I'm just gonna clean this off. There we go. I don't know <laughs> if you can see that or not. Hopefully everything I'm doing is within the camera view. 
And done with that stencil. That stencil, by the way, was very cheap, something like $2.49 or something. I can probably link to it. Okay, now what we're going to do with this is just trim the edges off of it to kind of where you see bubbles. And when it's trimmed down, it's probably going to be about three and a half by two and a half by the time these edges are. We just don't want those bare white edges sticking out. Let's see if we're pretty close to the... We've got two and a half. Probably going to take just a tiny slipper off that side. Okay. Two and a half. Five. Three and a half. Yep. Okay. So great. That's how we want that piece. Okay, so that's our next piece ready. Now I'm just going to use Stamparatus uh, stamping placement tool. Uh, Stampin' Up! doesn't sell it anymore, but I hear that there is an amazing one, which I think was the original one, uh, called Misty. Now, I don't have one of those myself, but maybe someday. Uh, let me see. Let's gonna put on this for a greeting is Wishing you, this is, okay, hang on, get that there, wishing you, flamazing is the word I'm looking for here, yeah, I just want to get these lined up in the stamp positioning tool again, I so hope that you can see that, so I'm just going to put those there, if you don't have a stamp positioning tool, then you can, you know, stamp the normal way that you do, but uh, a stamp positioning tool is really, really, really a lifesaver in a lot of ways. Um, you know, it'll allow you to do this. That it stamped really well, but I'm just going to stamp it again just to give it that tiny, darker effect. Now I am going to clean those off. Put them back into the stamp set. This stamp set has lots of really cute sayings. Uh, we're going to use another one for the inside of the card. And this silly little guy here seems to be my favorite. So, see if I can get him on there and get him stamped. Stamping was great. I really didn't have to do it twice, but I'm just going to. Perfect. There we go. Clean that off. And let's put this little guy back in here. Here we go. Okay, now I can put this away. Next, we are just going to color this little guy. Oh, I'm sorry. I just want to point out that the, this greeting, the sentiment strip, was one and a half by three and a half. Sorry. That is the measurement for that. Um, I better just put on some glasses before I start to color, or I'll definitely be outside the lines. All right, I'm just gonna add a little bit of color here to this guy, girl, gal. Okay, there's a little shadow in there. Nah, I don't know, right way, wrong way, we just color him up. I'm definitely not an artist. Here we go, and I am using Flirty Flamingo Stamping Blends. You can use whatever coloring tool you have. You may have 
Copic markers or pencil crayons or just use whatever you have and color this little guy up. Get this paper saturated so I can blend that ink a little. It's really just a tiny little image, not a lot of coloring to it. isn't usually how I color, but these markers have been giving me a bit of a, a hassle. You can hear them squeaking away. They have lots of ink in them, I think, but they seem to be, I don't know, they just haven't been working so great for me. I've noticed that they work as good as I, they used to, it feels like. Not that these are old, I mean, previous markers, when I got them the second time around, they don't seem to be working as well. I don't know if that's me. I thought that perhaps maybe they might have froze or something in a shipment during the late spring when it was very cold out. Uh, that was just gray granite that I used for the beak in the Stampin' Blend. And now... Hopefully that's dry. I'm just gonna cut around this roughly. And here I am, gonna fussy cut on camera. Wow. Okay. I'm not real great at this. I cut out a lot of images. I do. Um, I just find that Fussy cutting is, well, sometimes a lot cheaper than dyes. So a tiny little image like this is pretty easy to fussy cut. I did cut one out the other day that was pretty extreme. It was a fishing boat and had some fishermen in it. And they both had fishing lines in the water. And you can imagine what it was like. Trying to fussy cut their fishing lines and their tackle on the end of it, but it wasn't as bad as I thought. I got it completed. Okay. Oops, we do not want a big pointy spot. There we go. So, there's that little image. Oh, it's stuffy in here today. I think that's because of the humidity outside. All right, so we have our little flamingo guy or gal here. Next, I have, this was a ribbon duo from Stampin' Up! I can't remember the name of it. Um, I will link to it when I do the products and I just want a piece of this ribbon. Hopefully I cut it long enough to tie a bow. <laughs> Sometimes I short myself out. So we're just tying a bow around this uh, piece of cardstock that we um, uh, blended the bubble pattern onto. Not sure how well my bow turned out there. Wow. Oh, I'm not at bow school. Well, this stuff is relatively easy to tie. I'm not going to fiddle with it a whole lot. It's such pretty ribbon. I just love it. The color, the texture of it. And there we go. Okay, so we have a bow tied around that little piece. The next thing we're going to do is pop this up on dimensionals. Foam squares, whatever you have. Foam tape, maybe. Just pop that up. Hopefully I've got it lined up straight there. I think so. Just stick one of those in. <laughs> wow. <laughs> there. Okay. Peel those little backings off. I 
the dimensionals. Okay. Here we are. Now we'll get back to our card front. Where we're just going to attach that about here. So it looks somewhat straight. I hope it is. I'm going to have to pick that back off. Okay, and then we're going to take this back to our sentiment piece. And I'm going to make sure I have the right side. Yes, I do. And I'm going to put two dimensionals on this end. And we're just going to use some tape seal on the other end. You could use tape seal, glue, which, whatever your chosen... Now, this one is a bit longer, so it's going to come out. There, we're just going to attach that down there like that again. Hopefully, things are lined up straight. Oh, boy. Not well. I'm just going to call it straight. It could very well be that I'm seeing it crooked. Now, I'm just going to take some mini dimensionals. And stick those down here on the back of this little... Flamingo, I think I almost called him a penguin. <laughs> uh, let me see. Get the backings off of those. And stick him down right there. And there we have wishing you a day that is simply amazing. Now I did pull out some... I pulled out some Stampin' Up! Gems, rhinestones, something like that. Uh, I can't remember what they're called. <laughs> I will look to, to see if they're current or not. They may not be. But I will look and see. And if they are, I will uh, link those over on the blog when I put this card on there. Now, the only other thing I can think of that we could do is touch this guy up with some Winkastella. Really make him pop on this card. Love Winkastella. It's my most favorite thing to work with. It turns any card into just flamazing. Okay. So that's the outside of our card. Now we will just quickly do something with the inside. So I'm gonna take a small piece of this paper. I uh, just wanna be able to see, I guess that should be great, just as long as we can see some flamingos on it. And we know that the inside of our card is five and a half. So this was three quarters of an inch by five and a half of the designer paper. There's a cute pattern on the outside of the, on the other side of this paper as well that I did a, uh, well, pretty much the same card with. So I'm just going to take this and stick it in there like that. It's a little bit longer. I'm just going to snip it off there. Perfect. Now, so it says, wishing you a day that is simply flamazing. That would indicate that, well, maybe it's a birthday. Maybe it's just wishing someone has a great day. I'm going to use the sentiment from the set that says, party like a flock star. There we go. And our inside is all complete on our card. Just give that another little securing the bone folder. And there we go. Wishing you a day that is simply amazing. Party like a rock star. So, all the products I've used will be... Uh, linked in the blog post when it actually gets there and measurements and everything. I hope you enjoyed, enjoyed this quick tutorial and uh, we'll do one again soon. Have a great day.